If you want to learn how to buy rental property for long-term cash flow using very little of your own money, and if I also told you that you can repeat this process over and over, then make sure to keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I'm going to teach you how you can build a portfolio of rental properties using private money. Now before I get into that, make sure that you click the subscribe button in the bottom corner. Also if you would like, also if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and leave us a comment to let us know what you thought. All right, so this purchase strategy is often called the BRRRR strategy, which stands for Buy, Renovate, Rent, Refinance, and Repeat. I have used this exact strategy to build a personal portfolio of 31 plus single family properties, and I will continue to keep doing it as long as I can. I do have to tell you though that homes that work for this formula are in high demand. I'm going to give you the steps for you to understand how this works so that you can do the exact same thing. Step number one, you will need to make sure that you qualify for financing with a takeout lender. You should ask around to get some referrals from other investors as some lenders know a lot more about this process than others. Now I'm going to provide a link to a lender that is extremely knowledgeable with this strategy in the description below. Now. Now you can qualify for 10 conventional mortgages. If you have a primary residence, that counts as one. So now you have nine conventional mortgage spots available. Now if you're married and your spouse can qualify for loans, he or she could get another nine to 10 mortgages so you both can do this. This is how my wife and I got our first 20 single family homes. Step number two. Once you are approved for the takeout loan with your lender, you now need to secure a private loan. Some people call them hard money loans. Most private loans like this are short term, usually six months or less, and they charge high fees and interest. The private lender will also require you to have an approval letter from your takeout lender as they just wanna make sure that they're gonna get their money back within the loan period or the terms, whatever's agreed on. Make sure you understand how the private lender's terms and fees work. The fees I will use in this example will be 5% loan origination fee and 1% a month interest only. Most private lenders will lend up to around 70 to 75% of the after repair value. Private lenders will usually have their own way to figure out what they think the value is. You should also have a close idea of what the value is by using online data sources for example, iComps.com. This is a free service and make sure to check it out. Step number three. In this step, you will wanna make sure you have a contractor in place so that when you find a property that might work, they can give you a renovation bid. You know, you, don't, you do not want to go over on your renovation budget if you can help it at all. You will also wanna have an insurance provider lined up and property manager lined up as well. Step number four, now it is time to start looking for a property that will work for this formula. What is the formula you ask? I thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna give you an example formula that shows you how if you find a really good deal, you could do this with very little or nothing out of pocket. The takeout lender will usually only lend, I'm sorry, the takeout lender will do a refinance up to a maximum of 75% of the ARV. Now I will give you an example on how the math works. So pause this video and grab a pen and paper if you need to. Okay, so you find a home in need of repair and you can buy it for $50,000. This home has an after repair value of 100,000. This home according to your contractor needs 15,000 in repairs. The closing cost for this home is 1,500 which includes your insurance and other miscellaneous closing fees. And the private lender is charging 5% loan fee, which is $3,500. If you add all this up, it totals $70,000. The private lender is making you a $70,000 loan or 70% of the ARV. This is how you close on this property using none of your own money. Now a side note, make sure you have your takeout lender review your purchase HUD to make sure there will be no issues 
when you have them start the refinance process. Step number five, now that you have verified that the property works using the Burr formula, you now move forward on the closing on the property. You also get the contractor started on the renovations and for a $15,000 rehab, they should be done within a few weeks. You also get with the property management company and get set up with them so that when the renovations are completed, they can start marketing for a tenant right away. Step number six, make sure that you provide your takeout lender a copy of the closing HUD right after closing so that they can start the refinance process for you immediately. The lender will do a refinance at 75% of the appraised value. Now, assuming that it comes in at $100,000 as projected, the estimated $5,000 in the closing refinance cost could be rolled into the loan, making it so you do not have to bring that out of pocket at the closing. The only out-of-pocket cost you may have will be the monthly 1% interest-only payments that you'll make every month to the private lender. In this case, $700 per month, and you're gonna have a $500 appraisal fee with your takeout lender. Now, if everything goes according to plan, you could close out the refinance within two to three months from the time of your initial purchase closing and only be out maybe $2,600 at most. And this, of course, is assuming everything goes as planned. Step number seven, you close out the refinance and you start looking for the next one. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is that there's always the possibility of something not going according to plan. The renovations could take a little longer or it may cost a little more because of some unforeseen issues. Uh, the home could appraise less than estimated, making you bring a little money to the refinance closing. The Burr strategy is a strategy that allows a person that if done right, can beat the traditional method of buying an investment pro property where you have to put 20 to 25% down plus closing cost. The example that I gave where you are out of pocket $2,600 as opposed to say $25,000 makes it so your money can go a long way and build a larger portfolio of homes. I hope this video helps you understand how the Burr strategy works and how it can work for you if you do follow the seven steps that I have outlined for you in this video. Now, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought. This is all I'm gonna have for you guys today in this video and hopefully it made sense to you. So make sure to check out our other videos and thanks for watching.